conditions really represent one of the great unaddressed areas in terms of improving health care and frankly lowering the cost because the evidence is so clear that as we have handoffs uh, within the system, hospital to home, uh, home to others in the community, that's when stuff happens. And usually, or I shouldn't say usually, very often that's bad stuff that happens or things don't happen. Uh, people don't check into whether a patient really should be on a particular medication or not, or they don't happen to notice that the doctor or uh, the, the hospital has changed the dose or what have you, or the individual himself or herself can't remember what was being said to them as they were leaving the hospital, or just gets bollocked up and doesn't make an appointment to go back and see the primary care provider. And when you read the literature about this, you come away thinking, this is so simple. Just this most simple set of interventions could make a big difference. If, and in fact, you can see that in, again in some of the literature. If you sit down with someone as you're leaving the hospital and that person very carefully goes over what you need to do when you get home, what medications you need to take and in what amounts, et cetera, and then asks you to repeat that back the evidence is very clear, it's much more likely that the person will retain that. Well, what's so hard about that? Why aren't these very basic things happening now? So it's clear that if we just think of all of this as a system where everybody has a role to play, the caregivers have a role to play, the care providers have a role to play, and the patient or the person himself or herself has a role to play. And we just make sure that all of those dots are connected and very simple things are done, we could make an enormous amount of difference, prevent a lot of bad things from happening, and create a much healthier environment and frankly, save money in the process.